Mr. Speaker. Adrian Rudrafi. Uh, tēnā koe te māngai tēnā o te kore o te rā, tēnā tata katoa. Uh, it's a pleasure to take a call on the Building Pools Amendment Bill. Uh, sir, we cannot be too complacent about water safety. Uh, and this, this bill is all about uh, water safety. Uh, I, um, uh, as a young uh, youngster growing up in the small town of Taihape, not very many people had their own pools, and so we all had to go down to the to the river or, or the local swimming pool. So, uh, no, they weren't fenced at all, and uh, and uh, uh, the, the the barriers weren't that great to, to get into the local swimming pool, which the local kids do. I didn't. I never did that, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, jumped over the fence. Um, so yeah, we have we can't be too complacent about water safety because, uh, as it's been pointed out uh, by other speakers, uh, we are uh, uh, bringing in new regulations ar around uh, pool safety and water safety because too many New Zealanders drown and too many of our children drown. And interestingly, I was reading that um, uh, the number of children that drown. Uh, around Christmas time is particularly bad, and so I just wanted to note that. At the first reading which I, I spoke on, sir, uh, uh, Labor supported uh, this bill to go to select committee. Uh, we felt that there were uh, some things in, the, uh, in this bill that were very worthwhile. Uh, we felt that uh, it could be better. And uh, through the select committee uh, Stage. I've noted that uh, the select committee have made some amendments that do, in fact, make it better. But uh, on second reading, uh, Jacinda Ardern on our side uh, uh, indicated that we would put up a supplementary order paper to make it even better than it is now. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, supplementary order paper wasn't um, accepted. And so I, I don't believe that this bill is as good as it could be uh, for the following uh, reasons. And, and, and it's really about the, uh, um, the option for uh, pool owners to have alarm doors rather than automatic closing doors. Now, with an automatic closing door, there's a direct action and intervention uh, in that when the door is opened, there is a mechanical action or an intervention. That happens automatically. With an alarm, the action or intervention relies on human intervention. Now, that's not automatic, because human intervention uh, requires someone to actually hear the alarm and re then respond to it. There's no guarantee that when an alarm is set off because the door to the pool is open, that someone is going to intervene. That's true. And that is very worrying for, the, uh, uh, for our party and for uh, a number of members here tonight. I just, uh, uh, I think um, the potential harm from uh, n not having an intervention or action taken every time an alarm goes off on a door is particularly worrying. And I link it to uh, some research in, uh, in the United Kingdom over uh, smoke alarms, because at smoke alarms, you, you need a direct intervention as well, like get out of the place. Now, the, the problem and, and, and the research uh, that was uh, took place in the UK was that um, smoke alarms that were installed in small um, homes and flats uh, that were obviously, because of the size of the flats, uh, would go off when the toast burned or, or, or cooking um, uh, smoke that in larger homes would not set off the alarm. And so the action that uh, people living in those sort of situations was to turn the alarm off. And that's also a problem with uh, alarm doors going out to swimming pools, is because someone could intervene and turn the alarm off. 
because of a number of reasons. Because mainly because uh, the alarms are annoying uh, when they go off when uh, you actually want to leave the uh, door open. Uh, they are annoying, uh, just like a smoke alarm that goes off every time you uh, have breakfast and, and have toast. Uh, so that's that's concerning. That's very concerning. Um, and I support the statement by Eugenie Sage uh, when she said that uh, she didn't want uh, at some stage to, to be the one to say, I told you so. No, none of us want that. None of us want any, not even one single child to uh, drown because no one responded to the alarm or one child that drowns because someone was annoyed with the alarm and disconnected. None of us want that. So I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't even want to be the one to say I told you so either. But nor do I want that on my conscience either by voting for this. And so I say to the House, um, we will not be supporting this bill. We acknowledge the good things that the Select Committee has made to, uh, to make this bill better, but as I said before, it could be much better, and I'm very concerned about having uh, alarm doors rather than uh, automatically self-closing in our, our doors as the preferred option. I, I think if we take into account the difference of, in the cost between having an automatically closing door and an alarm. Um, and uh, it was mentioned that we must um, support new technology. Well, there must be surely an opportunity for new technology uh, to come up with uh, automatically closing doors uh, <coughs> that are uh, closer in cost to merely putting an alarm on that door. So, sir, uh, as I said, we uh, will not be supporting uh, this bill, and I think members should think really carefully about those two options that I spoke about. Kia ora. Kia ora.